What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, a new royal family for the MCU and much earlier than we anticipated. Now, depending on where you are in the world and when you're first hearing this, this story exploded like wildfire across the internet last night. The Fantastic Four in the MCU scheduled for 2022 with the director attached. Now, like I said, this absolutely exploded on the internet. It took us a minute, but we were able to trace the source. We're going to break down where this story came from, why you can believe it, what it means for the MCU, and which director is attached, also what that means for the film itself. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including tickets to go see Spider-Man Far From Home in IMAX once they go on sale. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on the video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, when the story first broke in the late hours of Wednesday evening, undoubtedly a ton of people had skepticism. It feels a little early to be introducing a brand new franchise so early after the culmination of the Infinity Saga, or is it actually it feels like the perfect time? The fever pitch is at an all-time high, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe can seem to do no wrong. Also, with the culmination of this core group of Avengers, it's the perfect time to bring another group along, and it's seems worth noting that Kevin Feige, while he said there was no chance we would see any X-Men for the next 5-10 to 10 years, never said anything about the Fantastic Four. In fact, he's been remarkably silent with everything he said recently regarding Phase 4 and the MCU. And now this report comes on the eve of the Phase 4 slate announcement, everybody's guessing San Diego Comic Con in July after the release of Spider-Man Far From Home. Now as I said, we had to trace this report to the source, it was everywhere late Wednesday night in a matter of minutes but we were successful as initially reported by geeks worldwide their sources citing not only a 2022 release date for marvel studios fantastic four but also a director to boot and that director being none other than ant-man's peyton reed now this is interesting for a lot of reasons given a the tone for ant-man and also he's been on record with his 1960s pitch as wanting to direct a fantastic four movie as far back as the initial ant-man release in fact one of his most famous quotes somewhere along the lines of the first two fantastic four movies swung too much like a pendulum the first one was too young and broad the second one far too dark you've got to direct the movie with the tone of optimism but also it has to be serious it was something along those lines and that's awesome see I wouldn't want the Fantastic Four movie to be anything like the Ant-Man films those are great for what they are but the Fantastic Four has to be done absolutely right it's a bit of an antiquated piece the material is a little dated and a 1960s pitch would be awesome but of course they're gonna have to use the quantum realm or some other plot device to explain why they weren't around in the first place but what better Better director to direct that than someone who's already been directly involved with the quantum realm and there's no one better suited than Ant-Man's Peyton Reed. Now when it comes to the Fantastic Four tied to the next phase this is not the first time that they're popping up rather this is on the heels of a ton of rumors both of solo films that would work in conjunction casting rumors for the team and of course the rogues gallery it all makes it seem more than plausible that this would be a film in the next phase and really when you stop to think about it there's more than enough space the avengers are on an indefinite hiatus and of course the x-men won't show up for the next decade so when it comes to the casting emily blunt and john krasinski have led the rumors for the past two years if you guys remember they were both on the docket to perhaps play the original core avengers john krasinski actually wore the captain america's cow during test footage but of course was beat out by Chris Evans however his wife Emily Blunt would have been cast as Black Widow if not for a previous arrangement with another film she wasn't able to do it and I believe that film was Gulliver's Travels I bet looking back she regrets that now but if in turn she can now act with her husband as part of the Fantastic Four there will certainly be no love lost and of course we all love Scardro in the role of Black Widow so certainly no love lost there either but speaking of roles the Fantastic Four in the MCU you is not going to lay the groundwork the way they did for Marvel Comics. Back in the day when the Fantastic Four debuted in 61, this was the first time that Stan Lee and Jack Kirby tried to co-pilot the creation process and that really led to the whole thing taking off. Now you have the Fantastic Four set to enter an already completely fleshed out MCU with the saga already in tow and if you bring them in via the 1960s and then find a way to cross them over into our current timeline with the Quantum Realm, then you give them a chance to grow as a team the way that they did in the comics without the shadow of what the Avengers
Avengers, Thanos, and everything that's already happened would have done to their maturation process. I know a lot of people would love to believe that Tony Stark actually funded the Fantastic Four and specifically Reed Richards in that MIT scene where he's on stage during Civil War and funds everybody's projects, quote unquote, no strings attached. But again, it would mean that they would be under the shadow of the Avengers and really they need their own room to grow. Of course, I also like the idea of having a period piece, something different than we've seen in the MCU, and that would go a long way to explain explaining why they weren't around to fight during the Infinity Saga. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, the Rogues Gallery, they have been heavily rumored for Phase 4, everyone from Galactus all the way to Doctor Doom. And speaking of Doctor Doom, there was a script in development over at Fox by the director who does Legion. That's a show about Professor X's son and is actually rather good. Now, while most scripts will get killed in various stages of development and never see the light of day, especially those pertaining to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Rousseau's came out during the Avengers Endgame process and said, hey, we really want them to look at his script, basically came out in a vote of approval publicly, and of course, they're close, tight-knit with all of the guys at Marvel, including Kevin Feige, and if they want Kevin Feige to at least take a look, there's no reason to believe he wouldn't, especially considering they now own the properties, and if the script is already in development, you might as well read it and give it a value judgment before you scrap it. Now, this would be the first time we've actually gotten a villain's solo movie in the MCU, while you could argue Infinity War is Thanos' movie. It's still an Avengers film. It would be awesome to finally get one of these points of views, and Doctor Doom is definitely the character you could do it with. Quick side note, I often get asked who are my favorite superheroes and supervillains, what are my favorite runs. God King Doom is one of the most insane runs ever. This is the panel where he actually rips Thanos' skull and spine out Sub-Zero style. This is also the same comic in which Black Panther gets the Infinity Gauntlet and leads all the dead out of Wakanda to defeat Doom. It's an absolutely insane run and I highly recommend it. Now, while we're probably not going to see God King Doom in the MCU, he's just a bit overpowered and this was a really obscure run. I think this is after like three or four timeline resets. Somebody go ahead and let me know in the comments which multiverse this actually is. I want to say 1616 but that doesn't sound right. You can see Annihilus in the background there. There's still a ton of depth and story that can be told with Doctor Doom, and if we're ever gonna get a solo villain's film, he's definitely the villain to do it with. Now, when it comes to crossing the Fantastic Four back over with the main continuity, somehow catching them up in the main timeline via the Quantum Realm, which is the best guess that we have, there's a ton of crossover points that make sense, but none better than Spider-Man. Now, I feel bad for him. He's like the crossover point for everybody. Venom. Deadpool and now we're saying Fantastic Four but really it makes the most sense he's the most likely to cross over he's featured with them a ton in fact Spider-Man number one go ahead and look at the comic book cover it says all you need to know right there and Spider-Man crossing over with the Fantastic Four is not just an old school thing either. He's been doing it all the way through the modern runs. I also like the fact that they seem to be breaking up all of the masterminds in the MCU. You don't need a Tony Stark and a Reed Richards and a Peter Parker for that matter all at the same time. So they may just be spacing this out perfectly as Spider-Man comes to cross with the Fantastic Four. He can pass the mantle onto them. Geez, think about that. Spider-Man passing on the mantle. I feel like it was only yesterday when he debuted in Civil War. There's a lot of stuff that makes sense about this guy's so many rumors, including that one of David Harbour recently said something about the thing being in Black Widow. Really what he said is, I can't wait for this thing to join the MCU. This thing referring to the Black Widow movie. Still Still, the Fantastic Four have been popping up in conjunction with Phase 4 for a while now, and the inconspicuous nature of the way that Kevin Feige has said, hey, absolutely no X-Men, and talked about this, talked about that, even did an AMA, but has come nowhere close to saying anything about the Fantastic Four is really, really, really suspicious. And now with this leak, not only naming a release date, but also a director, there seems to be smoke, and where there's smoke, there's fire, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Are you excited for the Fantastic Four. Do you think this definitely means they're coming? And I know it's going to be a long wait until that slate release in July, but I'm sure we're going to hear more about it between now and then. Again, let me know in the comments what you think about this, how hype you are for the Fantastic Four. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, one at the 400,000 subscriber mark, which we are headlong into and should hit easily by the end of this month, if not in the next couple of weeks. We're also giving away a PlayStation 4 Pro over on my Spotify account, All Fires 
It's free and easy to enter that one. If you have a Spotify account, great. If you don't, it's free to make one. All you have to do, follow the link down in the description and comments below. Follow my account, All Fire Stream the Song. Screenshot that, then send the screenshot to everythingalwaysyt at gmail.com. Far fewer people are going to do this than subscribe here to the channel, so it'll greatly boost your odds of winning a PlayStation 4 Pro. We'll also be giving away a ton of tickets to go see Spider-Man Far From Home in IMAX once they go on sale, as well as some awesome Hot Toys stuff once they become available to the public for Endgame. If you want to win any of the stuff here at the channel, including the PlayStations, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell. Leave a like and a comment on this video, and the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.